Where are your friends? Coming? Not coming? When? Okay, so today we are going to have a look at what? What are we going to look at today? Anybody know? Have you seen this these two machines before? Why not? Um, so these machines are called portable photosynthesis system. That's the name of it. And it's from the uh, bioscience company based in the US called LICO. LICO, I think it stands for Light Corporation. It's a, it's a company that started off with the light uh, device and technology. Um, so in, I tell you what, regardless of any crop production discipline that you are going to take, regardless whether you are a breeder, you are physiologist, agronomist, horticulturist, biochemist, and so on, you will see that maybe like 90% of the people work, they are going to use this machine because it answers the photosynthesis capability of your crop. <clears throat> because let's face it, with, without photosynthesis, none of this would have happened, okay? It's the reason we have our food, it's the reason we have our oxygen, although that is debatable. I say debatable because um, scientists say much of our oxygen don't really come from terrestrial oxygen, oxygen generated by terrestrial plant. That actually originates from uh, marine oxygen. But still, this marine organism, algae, kelp, and so on, they do photosynthesis as well to generate oxygen, okay? So you can see it's, it's very important. It's the reason we are here, we are, we are having this beautiful green-blue planet. It's the reason you can wake up and come very late. Cepat. So I suggest if it, this is your first time, you need to understand two things. Understand a bit about the theory. I know you have learned your photosynthesis and we don't really learn photosynthesis this semester. Just put it aside. But um, the basic of photosynthesis must be in your head at all time. All right? Okay, so let's start with. Um, We'll look at the theory just for a bit so that you, you know later. This machine is measuring what exactly? Is it measuring uh, oxygen? Because how do you quantify your photosynthetic rate? Right. <clears throat> so the word photosynthesis um, Anybody never learn photosynthesis like at all? All good? All good? Okay. So photosynthesis, um, the name already tell you, well, it's, 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 it's rather a long word, right? It's actually com a combination of multiple reactions. It's not only one process like the chemical reaction, A plus B, you get C. It's not as simple as that. It's actually a collection of multiple reactions that come together happening in different locations within a chloroplast, okay? So you have your 
plant cell, you have your nucleus, and then you have your chloroplast. Okay. Okay. So chloroplast is one of the many organelles that are present in the plant cell. It's green due to the presence of chlorophyll pigment. If you remember from your previous lecture, I did mention about the plastic, different plastics um, that is happening in the plant. Okay, so you have all this, which is started off as a meristematic cells and then give rise to the protoplastic, and then it will further differentiate into various form of plastic amyloplast, chromoplast, leucoplast, what else, chloroplast, and so on, iridoplast. So all of these are plastids. So when it says plastid, it simply means this organelle, it does two things. It either, or, or maybe both, it either um, generate something, manufacturing something, it's like a little factory, or it can also be the storage organ, okay? So like in the case of storage organ, the good example is a myeloplast. There's lots of starches in there. And for the case of chloroplast, also a type of plastic, it is a little factory. Factory to make what? Well, you're going to see in a bit what does it make, okay? So photosynthesis, two reactions happening, okay? So I, I like to divide it into two. So you have your photo reaction and also you have your synthesis reaction. So the photo and synthesis reaction, um, spatially, sp spatially, they are happening in the different locations within the chloroplast. Okay. So for the photosynthesis, you need to know the anatomy of the chloroplast. Okay, so you have your chloroplast. It's got double membrane. Let's put it because it's, it is an organelle. Oop. And you're going to see the cross-section of it in the textbook. It's going to look something like this. Okay. You're going to see, a, you know what, I'll, I'll better use the right color for this. Screen, right? So you should you should use screen. Okay, so you're going to see something like that. Okay, so the general structure for this. Um, this is your double membrane and the vicinity inside the corpus, remember, okay, this thing is actually this thing. I am enlarging it so that it becomes clear to you. So in, the, in this environment, you call it cytoplasm. The soup environment inside your cell, you call it cytoplasm. The soup environment inside your chloroplast, we call it stroma. What about these pancakes? Okay, so these pancakes are very important because this is one of the location for your photosynthesis. So, a stack of this pancake. A stack of here, we call it granum. Granum. And many, many stacks of this, which, are, which is so many in one chloroplast, is the plural of it, we call it grana. One stack, granum. Okay? You see the little bridge here? So the little bridge here, we call it middle lamella. Okay, this is actually still not the end. To, to really know how photosynthesis actually works, we need to further 
zoom in into this chloroplast sorry this um, stack of pancake so this one disc of pancake here we call it thylakoid membrane that one pancake only so let's take this one pancake and we zooming in here okay let's make it big again i would like to correct your understanding because some textbook can be misleading remember like the positioning of the chloroplast it's actually not scattered about in the uh, plant cell it's actually oppressed to the cell wall the same thing like this this thing is actually not really individual pancake one pancake one dorayaki after dorayaki no the, it is actually let's see do i have something to show you mm, what's this oh yeah it's kind of like your intestine actually so imagine you have a long tube this tube is actually fold upon another Ugh, my, my origami is not that great so when you fold it and stacking it one upon one fold upon another you will start to get the illusion of many pancakes it's actually just a one long tube one long tube folded and then it kind of come together in a stacking manner all right so this is why even though your intestine is like what is the length of your intestine six meters it, it can fit snugly into your abdomen ca uh, cavity, all right? Do you see anybody got the intestine following behind? All right, everything fits just nicely because packing. Nature likes to pack things up. Remember DNA, you know, packing in the form of chromatic chromosome and so on. So the same thing happening again here. So chloroplast, packing in this... Um, Thylakoid tube, okay, in the form of granule. Okay, so coming back to this thylakoid membrane. So this thylakoid membrane has got a membrane, okay. I'll just um, use that. Okay. Okay, so this is one thylakoid membrane. Coid membrane. You see the hollow here? It's got a name. So the hollow in here, we call it lumen. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. I think I got something wrong. It's not thylakoid membrane, it's not thylakoid disc. Sorry, 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 sorry. Thylakoid disc. I am very sorry. It's called thylakoid disc. This thing is called thylakoid membrane. And this thing, when you further make it large, you will start to find something like this. So you will start to find all this protein complex you will start to find all this there are many proteins embedded to this membrane okay so this is where you will start to find your photosystem Depending 
what kind of chlorophyll A present in the photosystem, it will determine whether it's photosystem 1 or photosystem 2. If, if we zoom in again, this region, we zoom in again, then you will start to have island of pigments. So all these are pigments, okay? Depending on what kind of pigments, chlorophyll A, so right in the middle here, we call it reaction center. So reaction center is actually a special type of chlorophyll A. So surrounding chlorophyll A, there are many other pigments. What are other pigments? So these pigments, collectively, they are called accessory pigment. What are they? They can be chlorophyll B. They can be any colors that you always see. They can be carotene. What else? Xanthophyll. What else? Anthocyanin and so on. <clears throat> I think one of, the, one of the lecture I showed you about the paper chromatography. When you have your leaf, you extract the leaf and then you run it with the paper, all the color will be separated outright. This is why. Green is not the only color present within a photosystem. There are many other colors present as well. Okay, in addition to other kind of plastic containing various color, chromoplast containing lots of carotenes and so on. All right? Okay, so coming back to this photosynthesis. So the photo reaction is actually happening here in the photosystem, meaning that the photo reaction is in the thylakoid membrane. That is the first part of the photo reaction for photosynthesis. Then, if it's a reaction, it must have a product. So, what is the product? So, I'm not going to go into too much detail for here, but let's. It's good to know at the end of here, the day, you got a number of things. Okay, you got as a byproduct, which is also a product. Byproduct is still a product. Okay you got oxygen and then you will get the main thing you're going to get energy energy which is you're going to get atp and n a d p h <coughs> i hope you still remember okay what is atp and n a d p h what's what's atp do you have ATP? Yes. Where? Where? In your hair? What? Lamparut? Pretty much present in all living cells. Okay? Adenosine triphosphate. Okay? It's the energy currency. And then you have another um, high energy uh, molecule, which is NADPH. It stands for what? Nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide, phosphate. Then there's a H here. So how do you pronounce it? Reduced. Okay. So nicotine amide dinucleotide phosphate reduced so these are the other the two product okay product number two product number three then you are done with your photoreaction 
in textbook, you're going to see it is not going to call it a photo reaction. What is it going to call it? The light reactions or the light dependent reaction. You are not going to get all this oxygen, ATP and NADPH without the presence of light. I'm not saying sunlight, okay? Because remember, we got plant factory now. It just need the energy from the sunlight, the photon energy to run this reaction center and then causing the photo, the electron to move from photosystem to photosystem. The movement of electron throughout this system will generate all this product along the way. So it's a continuous process, okay? For a given chloroplast and granular stacks, this is only one photosystem. This is, is actually present throughout the thylakoid membrane. So you got many, 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 many little photosystems island for a given thylakoid tube. You got here, you got here, you got here, you got here, you got here. Oh, here you don't have. No, you don't have here. Okay, but you have it all over it, uh, the thylakoid membrane, right? What about the synthesis? Okay, the location of the synthesis is actually in here. The vicinity, the environment of the chloroplast, which is called the stroma. Okay, so it's called the stroma. <coughs> so the second part, the synthesis part, is actually synthesis what? Synthesis, the sugar photoreactions is actually photo energized so when you bring together you will get the photosynthesis this synthesis is actually more important at least for today because for this machine this is the thing that it measures yeah now it should give you the perspective since photosynthesis has got many reactions the machine is measuring what? Actually, is it measuring the oxygen? Is it measuring the ATP production? Because these are all the products of photosynthesis, right? So this machine is actually concerning with this. For this model, okay, if you upgrade the model, you can go for the photo part. But for today, only this. So the synthesis reaction happening here you got a little cycle here, popularly known as what? What cycle? Kelvin Benson cycle, or simply Kelvin cycle. So you got the your little cycle there. So this cycle, it has got three phases. That's not very equal. It's got three phases. It's got the what? Fixation, reduction, and regeneration. Okay, fixation, reduction, regeneration. So basically, the very specific part of the synthesis reaction that this machine measure is this part here. Carbon fixation, or there's another name of it, or carbon assimilation. It measures how much CO2 is being fixed for a given area for a given second. Very specific, this part. Okay? So, if your plant is very healthy, it's going to have a healthy thylakoid membrane, right? When it has got a 
healthy thylakoid membrane, you are going to get an abundance of oxygen, ATP, and also NADPH. When you have this in abundance, your cycle going to cycle very fast. Because guess what? These two products of photoreactions will be used for Kelvin cycle. Okay? So you're going to use ATP here, ATP here, then you're going to use your NADPH a lot here. I'm not saying that just that, but in the majority of it, this is how the usage is going to be used. Okay? So this is why if you look further into the biochemistry of photoreactions, you're going to see that the plants actually producing more ATP than NADPH. The reason is, this is why. ATP for the Kelvin cycle, it's being used in more phases. Okay, NADH, EH actually. NADH, NADH. NADH or NADPH? NA? So, out of this, then only you got your 3GP. What is that? Glycerol behind 3-phosphate. If you times this two, you will get your glucose. Then you get your product of the one product of photosynthesis. Okay, so please correct your understanding from today point forward. Okay, the product of photosynthesis is not only sugar. Okay, it is, it is the combination of reactions and depending on which reaction you're talking about. For the perspective of agriculture, you are only interested with this because from the glucose, you're going to get your sucrose and from the sucrose, you're going to get your starch, right? And from the starch, you're going to get all the food that you need, right? Okay, so just this part, and this is how the machine is going to do it. All right, this is all the theory for this level that you need to know, okay? I hope this has been enough to jog your memory. I know you have learned photosynthesis, right? So many times, okay? To the point you want to vomit now. Have you learned this before? Right, okay? Why some like on the fence? No, yes. Not entirely. This is first time. All right, okay. Now we'll look at the, uh, the machine, all right? So what I want you to know is this machine. Oh, oh, okay. Before we go to this, any question for the theory? All good, all good, all good. Okay, all right. So let's come to, to see the machine. Um, we've got two machine here. You might want to come here because you need to do it yourself by group. Okay. <clears throat> Right, so this machine is actually comprising of three parts, okay? Three major parts of the machine. The part number one is what we call the console. This is the computer, the CPU of the machine, right? We've got the console, and then we have the, this actually, the communicating cables not only to communicate electrical signals, but also to communicate the gas. So you got the cables for electrical signals, for the gas um, signals. You will see that, got, why, why got two tubes? In and out, all right? And we have the third main component, which is the measuring chamber, okay? The gas exchange chamber. The other name for this thing is called ERGA, I-R-G-A, Infrared Gas Analyzer, because it uses inf infrared to understand the concentration of water and also CO2, 
Okay, All right. <clears throat> so I'll go through now one by one what is happening for each component. Okay, so this is the console. Oops. Okay, so this is the console. This is actually a very old machine. We got the, the new version for it already. I think they got released 20 years ago. So very, very old. Maybe older than you. Okay. So this console got faces to it. The side faces, you got two side faces, this side as well. And also the top side. That's all you need to worry about. Because for the newer version, you need to worry about this side, the back side as well. Right, so the top side is where you control the machine, pretty much like how you control the, the, the computer, okay? You got the little keyboard here and also the monochrome screen, no color, no touch screen, okay? Well, welcome to 1999, okay? All right, and then you have your one side here, which is called the chemical column side this side here so this side is actually equipped with three chemical columns this thing here so what are the chemical columns uh, we got the desiccant column that goes in here you see it says here desiccant column and then we got the um, co2 column here right in the middle right in the middle and then finally we have the co2 scrub column which is this guy here that goes right over there okay <clears throat> this co2 it uses um, external source a little co2 um, canister like this so we open this if you ever play a paintball this is the same thing that you used to shoot that your friend. Ever play that? Paintball thing? You should play that. It's not it's not dangerous, it's just very hurtful and hateful. Hurtful and hateful. Because in the game then you know actually who like and who don't like you. <laughs> I don't think I don't know whether in Malaysia they got it or not. Um okay, so this is how it speaks. Uh this is not completely tight. We'll do it in a bit. Okay, so we're done with this side. The other side of it, oh, here we go, let's put it on. Oh, this is so heavy. Okay, the other side is actually meant for the connection of for the cable, okay? So we connect the cable. If you're not familiar with the cable, remember cables like this, you know, you like your VGA cable. You've got the male and female parts, okay? It always go the opposite, male to female, not male to male. Okay, nothing going to happen. Okay, rainbow flags not to come in flying towards you, yes. right? And then you have your gas cable. Okay, you see the, the little <laughs> black band surrounding this cable. You need to find the something equivalent because it means it means for the sample gas. Sample gas is actually the gas which has been used by your plant later, so that the machine can analyze. Reference is the gas given to your plants so that your plants can photosynthesize, right? Okay, and then at the bottom here, you got two slots. Okay, this thing that looks like a brick here is actually the battery. I'll just open this. Before the advent of lithium-ion battery that you love so much in your phone, this was the battery in the past. Um, lead acid battery. You know lead, plumbum? Yeah, L-E-A-D. Not lead. Lead is the verb. We're talking about the element now. You pronounce it lead. So we got um, one. You know, I always got trouble to, to fit this thing. For some reason. Oh, okay. So you connect the battery in here. Um, for today, we going to, we have modified it a bit so that it can use the direct power source. Okay, 
So this machine, the reason it says portable, even though in this context this doesn't look so very portable, because of this battery thing, meaning that you can bring this thing, even though it's very heavy, to the farm, and then you do all your measurement right in the middle of the field. But if you are in the lab situation like now, you can connect it right to the charger. So this is the, this black box is the battery charger right here. Take this cable in and the power source right in and you're good to go. Right, okay, so let's go to the, the next part which is the um, cable here. So this cable here, you need to fit into it. This is male or female? Yeah. Female, so you should find this here. Oh, why doesn't it fit? Go down. <laughs> it's a test. It's a test. Okay. So you will connect that later. I don't want to do it now. Um, let's see this guy here. So whatever that you have set on this console here, the signals will be sent to the measuring chamber here okay so this measuring chamber is the important part of this thing because this is where you put your plant not entire plant just a leaf usually a leaf can it be a stem hmm sometimes you can because some 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 stem looks like leaf okay so you will have your plants can you can, can we get a plant over here Right, so I'll just do it quickly, okay? Okay, remember, can I get tissue? This, remember the other name for this thing? For, what's the other name for it? I-R-G-A, stands for what? Infrared, gas analyzer. Did you see the word? Gas. Meaning, no liquid should be present in this thing. Because if the liquid is present, it's going to get sucked in, it's going to destroy the whole machine. So please remember, before you clamp your leaf in here, you need to wipe it here. If it's cold, it's fine. But no apparent physical liquid. Okay? Then only you clamp it. All right? Oh, oh. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Should be closer. Something like that. Okay. Can you see this thing? So make sure your leaf is touching the spider leg there. You see something like the spider leg there? It's called thermocouple. Do you have the label here? Mm. Yep. Thermocouple. Thermocouple is for temperature detection. So the leaf needs to touch this little spider leg here. Otherwise, the machine will not know the temperature of your leaf. If it doesn't know the temperature of the leaf, it cannot count anything properly. Okay? So, um, this is the chamber that you clamp your leaf. You know what? I'm just going to take one leaf here before I destroy everything. Let's say that this is a happy leaf. This is not happy. Just like you. So we just wipe it and then you clamp it very quickly. Okay? Right. Um, so, if you you have looked down. Now you, I need you to look up. If you see in here, what's that? That's the LED light. We call it actinic light. That's my marker. Let me write it for you. <coughs> actinic light. It's basically the red and blue light to trigger for photosynthesis. Because based on the study, plants actually only need the most of the 
light color that plants need to trigger photosynthesis is in the region of blue and red. Okay, so that's that's what you're going to get. All right. Okay. Then what else? Now you got your fan. That's a regular part of it. Can you see this thing? This thing here. This is actually the quantum sensor. Light sensor. Quantum means light. Okay? No, no. Quantum doesn't mean light. Quantum means the packet of energy. I don't want to go too much, to sound too crazy about it. So, this erga chamber got two light sensor. One light sensor is present here on the outside. Okay? The second light sensor is actually in here. Okay? Silicon light sensor, this guy, in the inside here, gallium light sensor. All right? Okay. So, when you have clamped your leaf, make sure that your leaf can occupy the whole area inside here. If it cannot occupy the whole area, you need to know the area that you have clamped because you need to tell into the machine. This chamber here, this gasket here, this opening here is 2 by 3 centimeter, meaning that 6 square centimeter. If your leaf is a bit smaller, it cannot occupy the 6 square centimeter. You need to calculate that using your ruler and then tell to the machine. Like this guy, for example, that's 3, no problem. But is it 2? That's not 2. That's 1.7 actually. So 3 times 1.7. What is it? 1.7, 3 3.4, 5.1. Is it 5.1? Yes. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> so 5.1. It's not 6 because this is smaller. Alright? Okay. <clears throat> um, other thing that you need to know is about how does it work? Yeah, how does it work? So when you clamp your leaf like this, make sure it's touching this thermocouple, you tell the machine the known amount of CO2. That is called CO2 reference. So you tell the machine, because remember, you, you give it the machine external CO2 source. You give the machine, for example, 500 ppm worth of CO2, parts per million of CO2. So this CO2 is going to exit this machine using this cable here. It's going to exit, going out all the way to this chamber. And there's a flat fan going on in here. If the plant is alive and actively photosynthesizing, the CO2 now will be used. For what? Fixation phase of the Kelvin cycle. Because that thing consumes CO2. Right. So whatever the plant has used now will be returned back. There, there is a sensor in here actually. There's a sensor in here. It will be written back. The sensor is going to read. Then it will tell the delta CO2, the difference of CO2. Okay, so let's say that let's say that your CO2 reference from your console, you give 500 ppm. Then you have your CO2 Sample. Samples means the balanced air from your plant. Let's say that now it has become 480 ppm. So what is the delta CO2 now? 20 ppm. So the machine, it will use this delta 20 ppm. It will plug in into equation. It will plug in into equation to give you the rate of fixation 
phase of the Kelvin cycle. How the rate is expressed in here. For example, 20 micromole of CO2 fixed per meter square per second. That's how. So that's, that, that's why you need to plug in the right area. Otherwise, the machine cannot extrapolate to give you this correct square meter. All right? Okay. All right. So that is the basic of it. Okay, so other things you can um, control um, according to your liking, but the fundamental of it, that's how it works. Okay, all right. Um, I think that's all pretty much about it. Okay, anybody want to demo how to set this thing up? Um, okay, any question up to this point before we, we demo? We, you, you need to do it yourself actually, how, how, how to, 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 to set this thing up. Sorry? Um, the compute part, so this machine, it's like your calculator. Your calculator, when you press log 12, it knows how to calculate, right? It doesn't have to go to the bookshop, buy the book, or do all the calculations, some poor abacus, and so on. The equation has been equipped in this. There are thousands of equations in here. Okay? Yeah. So the, the machine just receive input value from all the sensors and then these values are plugged in into all the equations in here. There are many equations. There are equations for photosynthesis, for stomatal conductance, leaf boundary layer. There is uh, also for relative humidity. There are sens also sensors for atmospheric pressure in here. So it will change according to your location. If you go to Cameron Highland, the sensor is going to read differently. Okay? All right. Okay. Um, I think we should um, demo. Anybody want to demo? Ah, demo lah. <laughs> ah, demo lah. Where's the mic? Uh, Abu Dhabi. <laughs> By group, girl, come on, Chana. Ah, no, no, no. Just, just, just demo, and then you can do it. Ah. <laughs> Okay, so for uh, just come closer. Semua dah connect ni. Okay, so uh, I need one volunteer. So I will guide you, then you fix everything. Ah, uh, you. Okay. So just now, uh, we already know for this cable, we have female okay. and male. So um, now please uh, <coughs> attach the cables to the console. So which one is male? This one is male. So this one, I will go to the female plug. Do I have to? Yeah, yeah, you have to tighten it up. Um, you know what? Maybe you should bring it over here. So oh, okay. Maybe you will just move, move it to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So for the feeling. You need to twist, ah. Uh. Yep. Uh. Because it's not that enough. Okay, so next for this inlet and outlet, uh, do you know how to the fix this? One. Yeah, you need to look at the label here. So with the black band here, uh, you need to go to the sample. And without the black bank, should be the Let, reference. Let one of them. Oh. <laughs> yes. 
to one of you, and yeah, try to fit in. Okay. And good luck with this side. <laughs> Done? Okay, next for the battery. So you need to fix in the battery. This one is this cable to oh. this point. Yeah. So we use two power sources here. We use half, we use the power from the battery, half we use from the direct source. Ah, okay. Okay, so when this side is done, so we go to the co uh, chemical column sites. Okay, so we have three chemical columns here. We have the desiccant, CO2 source, and CO2 scrubs. So, which one is which part? You look at the labels. Yep. So first of all, this is... This is... Yes. Ah, the palette. <laughs> this side. Oh. <laughs> so do it, do it. Uh, the other one. Ah, this one. Oh, yeah. Mm. One is to control the gas. Ah. <laughs> the other side. The other side. Who wants to fit this in? Anna, fit this in. Ah, fit this in. Eh, tak boleh. Tong. Tau fun, tau fun. Tuh. Let, let, let her finish first. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the room is rather very strict. Is it tight? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the we have three chemical columns right here. So for the desiccant, the function is to uh, scrub water. So if there is excessive water, they will go through this chemical column, then they will scrub the excessive water. Okay, so for the CO2 source, uh, obviously it is for providing CO2 source. So within this holder, you, you have the CO2 cartridge. Oh, this is new. Um, in a bit. Okay, all right. So, uh, this is the CO2 cartridge. So in within here we have the source, CO2 source. So for the soda line, it is to scrub CO2. If there is excessive CO2, they will go through this soda line and it will scrub the CO2. Okay, next. Uh ni nanti baru basang. Um you can do it. You can do it. Okay. Anybody want to do ah. to try this? Try this? So oh, this my... thing, this this thing you need to be a careful bit, otherwise you oh. don't. You and I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get this ready first. Mm -hmm. Put this in, and then twist it until you, you feel, feel the some. resistance. You turn. You can feel it. Tighten it. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Because if this is not well tightened, it will burst. Oh, yeah. Only you have to the resistance, and then twist, one go. Very quickly, very fast. You can't get out of the way. Maybe should be far away. He will be very far away. He will be very far away. Okay, so we put the desiccant in the holder and then how do you know whether it's leaking or not? If it's leaking, it's going to feel super cold. Hmm. Oh. If it's not cold, so okay, this is not normal. It's good, eh? Okay. All good? Yeah, all good. Yeah. All good? All good? Here? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So okay, next. we can start the machine. Um. Wait. Maybe the other group. Let's try that first. You mm. need to set up this first. Okay. Um, Follow yeah, that. This is completely for somebody to try. Mm -hmm. Try to set up just like this. The other mm. one. Go. Go. <laughs> Anybody brave enough? You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> quick! 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 Because. Ah, uh, Eugene. Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, we can do it. Oh, 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 Okay, 你要等八个小时后才可以开你开啊你开我走是不是你要等八个小时后就完了他会啊八个小时后就没有了就那话我还没有准备好我不小心撞到机场了啊是啦人家用才装吗就一直好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好
呃，等一下我说，呃，他是用班单嘛？如果我这样子的话，用那个网、哦，用那个比较好啊，用班单。这个我比较难。Mm -hmm. Okay, get get one plan for your group. Because because we need to. 也是阿浪阿浪哎，那个呃。高度不对。哦、oh, ，sorry。放凳子放桌子上吗？呃，我们用这个吧。嗯、这个是啥来着？这个叫 T 恤，这个是 Hibiscus。OK， all good， all right， OK， uh， show show the how how it's uh turn on。So you can... go back see how it's turn on。你当然听听啊， turn on the electric。So this one is on。So there is a uh open button here。You just press it to on。So you can look at the screen。It is showing initialization. Ah, yeah. So wait, wait for a moment. So before you use the machine, you need to calibrate the machine first. So ah, initially I will show how 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 do you calibrate. So yeah. Okay, so for here you just choose two by three LED for the first step. Two by three LED. So there is uh the key here, so you can make use of this keypad. Keep a keypad. So press enter. Wait for it to load. <coughs> so is the chamber or Olga connected? Is it connected? Yes. So you press. For yes, you press Y. For no, you press N. So it is N yes, right? Yeah. Okay. So it is started everything here. So uh, first, you need to go to measurements. Wait, waiting for waiting the Olga to warming up. Okay, so it is warm up already now. So first, you need to look at uh the CO two. And also the H2O. So how do we uh, calibrate it? This I reference and S, it should be almost the same. So we can tolerate about the delta CO2 should be around uh, less than two. So now it's about eight. So first, what you can do is uh, adjust this knob here. Uh, maybe someone can blow it. Blow, just blow. Is it increasing? The R a bit, so meaning that there is a leakage here. So you need to tighten this up. So how do you tighten it up? Just uh turn, yep. This one is loosen up. You turn to the left, it's loose up. You see, you see, it is opening right. Yes, yes. So you need to tighten this erga oh, ah uh, until there is no leakage here. So you can blow. <laughs> Still increasing, right? So you need to tighten it up. Still? Still increasing. <laughs> 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 Are you sure? I'm a very good lower. 
<laughs> no, no increasing already, right? Both, both, both of these. Listen, listen. <laughs> Never going to be tighter. Increasing but very slow. Increasing but very slow. So you need to tighten it up again. This is this is not increasing anymore. Yes. See? So it's mean already uh tighten up. Okay. Double check. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. So next uh it is stable already, right? So next you need to do the ergasm. 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 Ergas
Blue. Nah, lagi ke? Tukar baru ke ni? Mana dah? Uh, dry ride. Right. <coughs> Nari tu buat lah. Dari tuan. Tak ada kau tukar baru lagi ke? Lepas. Tak, tak. Nari tu lah. Sebab biru sangat ya? Oh. Biru baru lah. Kan? Biru. Biru sangat. Maksudnya baru sangat lah. Ayolah baru lah. Hmm. Sebab dia bila macam ni. Bila wet, bila kita Sorry. tukar Sorry. baru. Kita kena yes. 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 Ada. 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 Tak tunjuk lah. Tapi dia lah. Belum ke? Haa. Ah, ah, nak tukar lah. Bateri pakai bateri mana tu? Bateri PM. We we didn't use our bateri. Our bateri tu. Bateri ni masuk ke belum bukan? Haa. Ah. <laughs> Aduh kena tukar balik. Like. <laughs> um, class, I think I think that machine the fuse is blown. You need to use this one. Uh, we don't have time to to change it. So um, I just proceed lah. Yeah, just just use this one. That the fuse is blown. Okay. Huh? Okay, this is right. 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 Okay, 每次很多问题，这个这个是旧的 model， 所以你要一直调，一直调。So that, 新的 model 你按一个我包，还是几我包？啊啊！ Plus, listen now, okay? Once this thing, this thing has warm up, uh, re re zero, re zero, because, because that looks super new. Alright. Once this thing, this thing has set up, you so zero, can later okay. pick your own plan and measure, because the measurement is very quick, maybe like thirty seconds. Yeah, you can have your own experience. Nego fuse bau tiap hari. Fuse belum, bateri habis. Kita nak cari apa? 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 Kita nak cari ap
whenever you see it this way, you need to shake this canister, canister mm -hmm. hollow. Um, so, so, so that the, the air can pass through new chemical as well. Otherwise, it's going to go through the used chemical. Oh, so the blue one is yeah, new. Yeah, the blue one is new. It uses um, cobalt as a uh, color, color indicator, whether it has absorbed. Um, so you don't have to use blue one, huh? Yeah, the moisture or other ones. Thanks. 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 So that lime, so that lime, the white one, the white one. To increase the speed. I change the soda lime. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Just do zero. You are calibrating it again. Mm. Are we re-zeroing. Hi, mm. so high adjustment. The thing is closed. So we are doing zeroing for all this. So no problem with water. Mm. Something not right with this. So the line. So the line. So we do. Wait. Yeah, I think better change. Okay. Can you get a container to, to contain this issue or something? Too long? The container one. Tapa lah, kita simpan kejap. Sebab dia, um, this thing got a color change as well but not as much as this. This is not really... Done. <coughs> ก็เหมือนเดิมกระดังผมว่าจะวันเดียวก็ได้ครับโอเคเฟรดเอ่อเอ่อเดี๋ยวเวทเนี่ยคือเราเวทเอาบนจะดีเดสไปโอ้ย
Look good? Looks mm. good? How do you know it's good? I can't. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Mm -hmm. Negative. No, negative. Okay, not to worry. Another way to do this is you are going to match that thing, which is, which is user matching. So matching, better do when there is no plant in here. You match meaning that whatever given by the console should be the same reading by the chamber. So we do the matching. I need to see the standard deviation. I'm just saying, that's it. So we match the erga. Okay. Me, lepas tukar hari tu ada guna ke benda ni, Mi? Tak ada guna ni. Wait, wait, wait. So, why is the most of the data is a good old job? Hmm. Now you can stay good. Hmm. So I just set the CO2 to 400 ppm. Reference CO2R, meaning that we send the command from the console to give 400 ppm worth of CO2 to this chamber. Look at whether it's going to increase. It's alright, just for the plus, uh, we'll do this. Uh, I'll check this later. Mm. Um, just procedure. Yep. Yep. So you need to wait for the CO2 reference to become 400 and CO2 sample to become around 400 as well. Mm -hmm. And now you need to bypass the dry ride because when you want to measure the photosynthesis, the RH need to be the minimums of 55, 55 to oh, 75, 70. something. So bypass this to increase this. No, look at the RH, 0%. Bypass the um, dry right mm -hmm. to increase the RH. How much? Until, look at the RH. Until the RH reach 55 to 70. Don't like it at Z, 80. Okay. So you need to adjust. But fast, but fast. What is it? Uh -huh. <coughs> then fast. slowly tighten up. Now? No, no, no. But the goblin. But you're not buying. Hmm, look. <laughs> because we are in a conditional uh, area so the the air inside this room is kind of low uh, dry 55 minimum 55 <coughs> for for this uh, this is the sense this is the uh, controlling knob so you bypass to increase the RH the scrub to reduce so the sensor with this thing is and also that, that, that mesh. so because that is the sensor that will sense and then pass back to the console a relative humidity Okay, so in the meantime, there are, there are five, one, two, three, four, five, five, uh, how to say, environmental uh, option, uh, factor you need to adjust. There is leaf fan, floor, CO2R, temperature, and lamp. Okay, so this, these are general. This can be adjusted 
based on your uh, your uh, your research objective. So for the general uh, standard in tropical region, for the leaf fan, this leaf fan is uh, the speed of the fan. It is used to break the boundary boundary layer on the leaf, so that CO two can en enter. Okay, so for the leaf, yeah, there is fan. Here. Oh, okay. So this one also. So for the leaf fan, we'll make it fast. Okay. So for the flow, usually we'll set it uh, five hundred micromole per second. Very quickly. Yeah. Um. See whether five hundred micromole. Connect with the battery. Target. Five hundred. Okay. Like. Um. For the floor. If it is the air movement throughout this machine, yeah. If you make it fast, the response will be fast, but the data will be less accurate. You make it slower, the response will be slower, but the data is more accurate. There is a balance there. So five, we just take the middle point, five hundred. Sorry. So uh, the response will be slow. So for the CO two reference, we will set it four hundred, because uh, the current environment CO two condition is about four hundred now. So if your treatment you need to you want to test about uh, eight hundred, you can you can just change the the CO two reference. So okay, this is the standard half, environment uh, currently. Half, half all right. For all of these uh, parameters here, we we set the variables here. It actually uh, like creating a mini environment within that chamber once the leaf are clipped into that erga that uh, led lamp the leaf are isolated with the current uh, outer yeah, environment no. so any uh specific yep, yep. treatment yeah, you give to the plants it will be responsible <laughs> into this console <laughs> okay, so for the temperature here we will be choosing the block temperature uh, for the general one with 27. Yeah, the problem But since we are in the air conditioner, 25. Okay, let's add the warning. Okay. Yeah, so for the lamp, we choose PR. You know what is PR? Tapi tidak bagi warning. Photosynthetic active radiation. Okay. Visible light, uh, uh, I usually uh, will use uh, 1000 uh, <laughs> 1, micromole. So you can turn on the LED lamp. Press it. The handle. Yeah. Yeah. Lagi, blue lagi. Hmm. Open up. Yeah. Yeah, tak boleh lah. Do you have light? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, uh, that is the so part. Battery, battery block. Can you get that? You know, we're gonna use battery better. Bagus dia okay. Battery ni ada masalah. Battery mana? Tadi tu. Okay, so close it. Ah, uh, aku rasa tak ingat yang masa tu. Madi ni mana tak boleh. Maksudnya battery ni yang. So now everything is good. The RH is dropping. Tukar so you just bypass it lah. Macam mana lagi yang boleh bypass? Macam nampak macam okay. Because we are in the aircon room. Mm. So 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 just now when you op when we open it, it decreases. Ah uh, yeah. Because it sends the out. Ah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, this, when you clip it, it will be isolated. This is the thing. Jadi dia kena guna battery. Battery lama tak apa. Tak destroy. No 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 no. It won't hurt the leaf. No, it is not destructive data. Tak apa dia tak screw lagi. So now you can choose your plan. It is everything ready here. So now you can start to take the environment. Ah, take the measurements. So which plant do you own? Hibiscus. Ah. Okay, so this is the hibiscus plant. So how do we choose the leaf? So because every time we only take one leaf, right? We only measure one leaf. So how do we uh, identify which leaf to take? So the general rule of thumb is First, you need to look at the uh, leaf arrangement, which is the leaf phyllotaxy. So, what is the leaf arrangement here? 
alternate, right? Okay, so for alternate, for every every yeah. arrangement. So, so yeah, first, yeah. need to uh, ID, ID the lip arrangement, yeah. arrangement first. Yeah. So the general rule of thumb we take from the top yeah. three yeah. to five uh, lift. So counting from yeah. the top three to so five. Then fuse so this is lift one, uh, lift okay. number two, lift but number three. So this will be good yeah, until the number five. So okay. pick the healthiest lift. So uh, when uh, the lift uh, is uh, uh, there is a uh, uh, damaging uh, here, it will affect the reading later. So what if the how to confirm double confirm it? This is number three, right? You look at number four. Is it the same almost the same size? So this is already fully expanded. So by by doing that you can confirm. Uh, is it this one lift this lift to take? So now we already know this is the optimum lift to take. So uh, someone please click this lift until the Oh, uh, um, oh, you need want to book? Ah, can can you can remove? Ni mana tadi lagi lah. Okay, you sebab mana? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, yeah, yeah. Before that, you need to wipe the lip. Tissue. Uh, every time when we open this, what one is it? Oh, the other, the other, the other. The mouth. Uh huh. The reading, the reading we will change. So we only take the reading when the inside environment. Yeah, yeah. Slowly, uh, later, I will show how to how to ID the best time. Oh, so that they give. Yeah. Okay,因为这是他他完成，因为你要等他，因为你猜猜他就，啊，死了嘛，所以，但你你不要 now, like uh, depends. Uh, so like when do we take the data? So when every time we take the data, the first blown glass, it will take the reading when you press lock. Lock is uh, how to say capture that point. So uh, what time? What is the optimum time? So you press uh, press this uh, bracket square bracket. There is a photo and C O N D. So photo here stands for the carbon assimilation, which is the photosynthesis. Okay, so how do we ID it is already stable? So you can see on the graph here. It is not stable yet. When the graph stays uh, constant, it is the time for you to take the data, the, uh, the readings. Yeah, both of the graph. Yeah, for the stomata conductance, uh, Kindly make sure it is not negative, but uh, it is still negative. It no, might no, be the no, response. No, uh, no, might no, be the no, treatment no, towards no, the no, plants. No, so uh, it can be due to your research treatment. So, but at standard, the rule of thumb, we just make sure it is not negative. This is not stable yet, so you need to wait for it to stay stable. So how long? Uh, is the optimum time. It depends the the responsive of the plant. Some plant, some plants are just stable. It will you can take the data within five minutes. Ah, uh, this is already stable. This is not stable yet. Okay, so bef before we take the any data, we need to crack a lot file first. So uh, we need to crack a lot file. Go to measurement. Oh yeah, one more thing. I forgot. I forgot to tell. The leaf area. Before you clip this uh, leaf, you need to measure the area first. But this is already occupied all the chamber. Yeah. So this area of this chamber is six, right? So it is already six. So you don't need to measure. Uh, now we need to create the log file first to save all your readings. So you go to measurements. Okay. okay. F1. Open log file. Uh, Misalnya fuse ni nak kena beli jenis banyak brand lah. Hmm. Nak kena cari fuse yang betul-betul. Mungkin jangan beli so yang fuse dulu. Name the file as hmm. class visual lah. Hmm. Cakap betul? Cakap betul? Tidak. 
So you already create the log file. So every time you press this log, the reading will be saved into this file. So it is still not saved because maybe um, the plant stays indoor. So it is not responsive. <laughs> you need to wait for the stomata to open and then induce the reaction. So uh, it's okay. So now we just uh, assume it is stable. To make it stable, the graph should be stable. Right. Oh, this means the stomata is closing. Okay, the balloon When the graph is moving upwards, it means the stomata is opening. Do you know stomata? The, uh, yeah, stomata is opening. So when it is plateau, it is uh, stable. Oh, too. Conductance is uh, stomata conductance. Mm. This one I think specifically to water vapor. Stomata conductance can be other things, can be to oxygen, can be to carbon dioxide. For this one, I think it's to water vapor. So, uh, so, so just assume it is stable now. Go to log and then press F1. So you already take the data. So you can open. Sorry? Uh, so far, there is no limit. Uh. Due to the, uh, just depends on the memory of this machine. Uh. Okay? Yeah. 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 Alright, so get experience. Pick your plant that you want. Um, you can get some plants from outside. Okay? Just make sure you know which plant belong to which log number. Okay? All right, have experience, have experience. Mm. You can get the plant. There are so many plants outside. Go outside, get your plant. Before you take the data, make sure you know the log price. Yeah. Because after that, you export the data, it, it won't tell log one is represent which leaf. You which can plant. Use this so plant. you need to know log one represent though. So it's better to have a data sheet. I don't think the photosynthesis is going to be high. It's got very good. <laughs> <data. laughs> uh, you can use it. You can use it. You can use it. For, for the sake of study. Ah, ah, like for the sake of study. Ah, you can use the same thing. If you use the same thing, you can use the same thing. Because it has two fuse. Yes, it has two fuse. It is connected to the same thing. It has a fuse of 5 ampere. This is a square bracket. That's一个。这个是一个。这个是一个。这个是一个。这个是一个。这个是一个。这个是一个。这个是一个。这个是一个。这个是一个。这个是一个。这个是一个。这个是一个。这个是一个。这个是一个。这个是一个。这个是一个
那个主动就是每次你你要你要给他清完清完掉，就每次你做完。啥子来意？不，你关掉 close lock， 他就关掉了。你要回去 revisit 都可以。他会 set 在他那里，到他 memory 嘛。所以他会 stop 在里面。啊，他是在新的，可是你要 loop 回那个之前，你要 continue， 你可以也是。他像一个 PC 吧，很旧的 PC， 他是在新的那个房间里面。Okay, okay, 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 okay,
，就给他醒。我们才拿得到，这样他就很 responsible、嗯。可是你在 feel build 吗？你在 feel 他 open 吗？一下早上他直接直接醒了嘛？因为这边他是 enclose 嘛，所以他就变不不 active 哦。啊，你要穿你穿外面。不是，不是，因为那个人 feels too， feels too put too little。你啊，你们 for 你们 set of free 啊， experiment for learning， 你们懂就好了。那边那边嘛，所以拿得到是。关掉那个按钮。啊，你按 F 八就拿，就拿一两个，可能比较多个。啊，等一下你可以去 Visual Lab export， 他去 export 一个 Excel 给你。哦。啊，他会跟你讲 Log One 这个 reading， Log Two 这个 reading， 他不会跟你讲这个是什么 plan， 所以你要知道 Log One represent 什么 plan 啊。他刚刚那个 duration 那些就是他的 reading。那不应该是什么？对。他不止拿那两个，你知道吗？他应该有拿十多个，应该我至少有二十个 parameter 他拿。他有 CI carbon dioxide 啊，有 concentration carbon dioxide， 还有啊、呃，这个应该有 five five CO two five PS two， 他有很多个。我们现在今天只学一个 CO two estimation。对，呃，我们这个 error is indicating we took the sample just now. 然后呢，我们这边的网站会改了，到时候来，就别说你啊。For 你们 learning 啦，你们 try 啊。关掉了。但是呢，没事，你完全不用担心，因为我们可以做 service。对，因为他们就是那个石头头，然后呢，就是把电话打过来。Stabilize， 它的 graph。没理解，就是它会平。然后就 stable 还是开着 stable？ 开着，当然开着啊。就是说上面的 stabilize。那上面下面其实是这个 axis。哦。嗯。所以它没有关系，其实它的 gap 越大，它就它的那个上面就越高。所以说开始开始 stabilize。stabilize。然后通常这个不要 negative 啦，通常不要 negative 啦。If 你一直 negative 这样，我们会换叶子。如果还是 negative， 就是证已经证明了那个它现在是 negative， 所以拿来当了。它 negative 的意思代表什么？他在数码大关的。Okay, are you done? Ah yeah. Not measuring. Ah just. Yeah, just. Ah just. Okay. Start model. So this, ah this one, how should we wait? Is the best time compared. Ah when when the graph is stable, like 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 this. So you just. Don't draw like a whiteboard. What for? Like something else. Ah. Ah. Hey, Sana, Sana, Sana. See you later, no. So kau punya pun ada harapan nak nak masak itu. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Okay, Tak tak tak. Dia dia CO2 dia dia tak stabil. Dia jadi macam kau pun dia ni tu. Dia licin. Dia dia bukan dia bukan licin. Ayo ni. GS stable kan? Foto stable. Lengkap loh ya. Nanti nanti. Lengkap loh. Nak nak kena nak kena tengok lah nanti. Aku ini aku jadi ada kelas ni semua. Tanya tak ada tak usah lah. 嗯，所以看到差不多马上按啊，马上按，就在错过。没有没有，他他他真正写过的时候，你按了他还是会一样啊。他真正写过的时候，所以你不需要等到真正那一秒。如果他真的写过的时候，你不管按几次，他还是一样。啊啊，对。就是我们在没有写过。啊，嗯，我感觉个，我觉得你。
O-ring Represent the photosynthesis Juga hajang Antara 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 Per meter square Per second Antara 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 所以这这两个就是，呃，声音可以，它是它是不 stable 罢了。我们看那个啊，因为我们要拿那个的单单，它有很多个的单单。今天我们只看这个一个罢了。嗯嗯。没有一样的，就是这个 stable 的时候，就是讲这个 reading 是最 stable 的 reading， 最对的啊，最 accurate 的 reading。因为它 reading 每一秒都在换。那就打打打的，一两秒内打的的。Aku pun tak rasa dia dia tengok habis habisan macam ni. Dia tengok mana mana yang dia carbon. Ah, jadi asal ke carbon make fix per meter square dia tu. Sebabnya dia tak dengar dia hanya dia dua belas bahagian je. Mungkin hasil hasil yang dia buat. Kita ada yang baru, tapi yang baru ini tidak ada. Yang baru ini six seven hundred, ini adalah six four hundred. 新的差不多一样重，比较轻，可是新的是它是有颜色的，然后它是有颜色的，然后你 calibrate 也不用自己这样调，你按一个 S one， 哦，懂，你按它自己 calibrate， 这个要 adjust， 新的那个价钱啊，我问啊，四百千，一件物资，它租一天两千，这个这个租一天七百。没有啦，这个是法国的啦。有一个 company 有租吗？老师是那个 company 的 consultant 吗？哇，租个啥东西哦？租一天，如果新的新的还是租一天是，它的 range 是两千五到三千，一天。它价格差不多两千多。一天我最过最多最多我量过六十克。如果那个单很 responsive， 五分钟就拿五分钟。早上，对，哦，好的，不能了，它就很慢哦，它就很慢。如果它真的很慢，通常我们会盘在灯下面前，就讲 before 拿，先 prepare 它在灯下面前，就是 red 跟 blue 的灯，放它在半个小时还是什么，然后浇水。对啦，不能就就算了吧。它有它有它有它的 limitation 在也是吧。Um, class, make sure you Have a hands-on experience, okay? Clamp the plant, wait for the stability using that ruling, and then log the data. We will give the data later so that we'll see um, what kind of plant that you work with and what is the photosynthesis reading. It's a sample. Reference is you gave. It comes out. It responds. You guys take it. I think you guys write it. So that in the report you can tell what is the photosynthesis for this plant. What plant is this? This is coleus. Does it look completely green? So it's got some variegation. Then you compare with plants which are completely green, like the hibiscus. If the photosynthesis are different between these two samples, why they are different? Are they due to the species, or are they de due to something else? I think it's a little bit. It's a little bit. I think 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 it's a little bit. 那手给那个，如果是零，如果是零的话，那个它它它款还是开哦。哪一个零？这个。右手给那个。零啊。零是。它应该不是零啊。零是。直接坏掉啊。讲讲这个。就说嘛。什么大字？零是没有哦，没有开哦。This frame is too many. One not maybe too long. So you close this illusion. 它其实不是 indicate 那个什么打开还是关的，它不是讲几个什么打开，几个什么打关的。它是 indicate based on 那个 water vapor pass through， 
。如果他 positive， 就是他开了，所以他才会怕球嘛。所以你，他不是讲几个什么打开几个什么打关啊，不是啊，他是 validate best 多少个 pass rate。他 refer pass rate 不是你几个开几个关，所以 negative 就是讲，他没有没有啊，他他拿他拿啊 ，shorter and shorter， 不是不是不是 ，negative 就是讲，从 from the other side， 啊，从 from the other side， 所以 feel very experienced about it， like for example this conductor that's already stable， 他他不是 based on 那个几个号码开，他是 based on pass rate。通常是零点多啦，零点一、零点二这样啦。零点零多算低啊。That that is 啊，嗯，因为索马达它不会一次过整个叶子关到完了，它一定是一些开一些关一些关，所以。啊，你不你不能像讲到它很像全部一下关，全部一下开，它不是这样，它不是。It's like to play around this region. Ah, so this bumpy that you see, it's called patchy stomata symptoms. Suddenly, you know, 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 suddenly, Sometimes something just open more, something is closing more. So that's about it. See, it's closing. So why when the numbers increases, and then but this one? Oh, you just because um the Kelvin sector is activated. Usually this closing, if you go back escape, it's due to low R H. 你看到那个号码？ See. 他不是 indicate 几个什么打开几个什么的关，他他来 ref 他他 conclude 他 very 他开的是关是 based on 那个 water vapor 的 pass rate， 所以他 positive 就是有 pass rate， 所以他就 indicate 他的 color， usually the 他的就更高啊，他的 pass rate 会更高，他不是讲几个关几个关，他不像那个 carbon dioxide， carbon dioxide 几个 micromole fix。That's a two molecule of water password. So you go to go. If you wait later, of course, the reading is going to differ a lot. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You see? You go down now. So this is actually for fast responding plants. This 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 is not fast responding. This is shit plants. Ah, 通常我们是 outdoor 男，你要在冷气房里会，因为你已经 set up 你要的。Then this private plant make sure that lock number four. What kind of plant? Not this plant. What number from the top? But the data is not yet to the message. No, this 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 plant. This plant is is um. This is why I said you need to use judgment for this. The best situation is you have the absolute difference of two, okay? But it seems like this plant is not. I don't know. Maybe not having enough fertilizer or something. Sometimes you do you do the treatment like the drought treatment, your experiment treatment. So these treatments causing this instability. Whatever that is presented to you, that is optimum plan. Oh. Optimum meaning that enough water, enough fertilizer, enough sunlight, everything mm. enough. But the moment there is some kind of treatment subjected to the plan, it will have this. What's the word? Erratic curve. So conductors kind of okay. So in this case, when should we create more light? More or less, when when something like this. Yeah. Uh, you need to you need to okay. You need to do best to SGS. Then you need to do proposal. Yeah. You need to propose your master research. No. Then you choose the teacher. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> and it's a bit tricky yeah, because yeah. this is shade plant oh. plus oh. it's variegated. It's not like a um, regular green plant. Maybe you can take one green plant. Completely green, no variegation. 
So, 你是 degree 完了就直接签还是 degree 还没完？啊，我空空一个 sem 我才签。我 degree 完了空一个 sem 我才签。哦，就是不不会不要。不会。就如果我正在读的话，我可以先。阿罗可以。阿罗吧，阿阿罗吧。你的你的 application 是啊 ，on。condition 就是你过后你要 put back 你的 result 那些啦，还要放你来 probation 这样子啦。买枪开不掉，但你是没钱啊。咱们聊这些，这些这些我读读。那 depan dia jadi okay sebab kita fokus pada lain tu. Tapi nak fokus lebih lain. Sebab baru ni kau itu. Oh, kau ya, kau ya. Tiada tiada ni text saya. Okay. 晚上还是都可以的，我我有空我就来拍啊。但是他来的时候，他说那个放鱼了。但你没搞见那个。那我那我不随便讲啊，反正你教就对了啊。没有关系，没有关系。你你你要你要 X 上三米，这样吗？但不过就没啥路嘞。没有。想想啊，呃，因为可能可能我讲 Postgre 没有东西是 fix 的，你很多变数，你也不知道明天会发生什么。Pas masuk intan saya. Bila waktu start sambil reduce dengan air dengan CO2 pun boleh jadi tak sambil. Okay, pas kerja itu ikhlas. Alright, just do one more. Okay, who wants to do? Okay, credit. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Someone please. You don't do, you cannot go back home. Do one. Depend on 有人做到五六年都有我看过了。就是说白是很狗，他不要给你毕业。我看过很多啦。啊啊！只要你把它做死。对，所以其实是我不懂 course work。如果你是啊、uh, ，postgrad in research， 你的 research 完你白花完你就毕业。research 完白花完，这是通过了。嗯嗯嗯。所以你不要说啥。他会问你一定要一年。你你有。我不知道有没有人这样，有些人他会先做 research， 他不会一时间，他先做，他拿完他写，他一下进他直接做完，他东西全部做好了。其实我是这样啦吧，我没有到这样夸张，因为我不是有空一个 sem， 我那个 sem 我在做我的 trial， 我有 trial 的 result 了，我才进我的 master。This is this is already far down. You need to be between number three to number five from the top. This is number one. This is already necessary. You know this is necessary. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. So whatever that you do, you will not get high photosynthesis. So you don't want to do it. Because the leaf is already senescent. You've already done it. You've already done it. But it turns out that it's dead. You have to do it. Senescent, 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 senescent. No, no, it's okay. Um, just uh, maybe. Well, that looks green. This guy. Yep. Do you want to try this? Yeah, can I can I? So Okay. 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 但是另外一组，有时候有来，有时候没有来。可能。So that's almost stable. Still. So look like this. This plant, the moment the moment it start to look like this, actually you can take. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> because if you wait longer, the leaf is going to change biochemical activity. You want the current, the current when you choose the leaf. This is not sunlight. This is LED light. Of course, the, the leaf will adapt with uh, biochemically. It's already done. What kind is that? We. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay all right okay i think that's all for today um so i hope uh, i'm sorry about this this is this thing is broken what to do yeah yeah we we are waiting new budget from the government to get new new equipment because um, we hope to get the new version of this, which is touch screen, gorilla glass, and everything. Um, yes, but you don't get lots of reading like this. This, this is only one screen. This is only one screen. If you change the letter to C, you got different things. B, E. There are many, many data. So when you press the log, you actually get data from 40 parameters minimum. Temperature, light, yeah. So that's the conductor. CI is the intercellular CO2. Yeah. All right, okay. Uh, I think that's all for today. Any question? All good? Okay, all good. Um, how many weeks left? Two. Uh, what to do? <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so this is week number what? 12. 12. So next week is 13 and 14. Okay. Um, let, me, let me think. So we have another two lecture to give, which is the um, plant senescence and the flowering. But the flowering kind of because because your your shallot got attacked by the mollusk, you don't you you don't get to see the the flowering, right? Hmm, maybe maybe we can just uh, focus on the plant senescence. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Looking at your marks, uh, I think um, there's only one assignment to be given, then you're good to go for the semester. Okay, I'll, I'll give the assignment um, online later. All right, the, the, the instruction. It's it's basically, you know, we have, we have been recording all this lesson. I need you to, to put this timestamp for the lesson so that the student for the next semester, they can have this lesson as the reference you know this lesson is on, on the youtube uh, yeah but i do not have the the timestamp the timestamp is to help it with 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 people want to learn okay they want to jump to certain topic okay so i'll give the instruction later to do the timestamp and which is good because you are forced to relearn it so we have how many? Seven lessons, I think. Six, seven, seven lessons. Yeah. All right. Okay. I think that's all for today. Uh, uh, no question. I think. Um, yeah. You can dismiss and I'll see you next week. Yeah. All right. Okay. Next week. Then I say, "Okay." Call me. 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 Call me.